Today's video is sponsored by OneFootball. Available now on the Apple App Store and the Android Play Store. Get all the latest news, fixtures, videos, scores, stats, and key dates for your favorite football teams from around the globe. It's free to download, and of course, the link is in the description. If you love football, if you love the game, download the app today. So welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We're back today. It's uh, January 24th this time around, taking on Ibar, and this is the last game before we dive into the famous transfer window so it shuts firmly uh, in about a week's time so i don't think i'm going to play that out in this episode i think i'll wait uh, and then get all the juiciness done in the next one uh, it gives you guys more of a time to as well let me know who you think we may need to sell or buy and any of that fun stuff so let's get on with it so i hope you guys are enjoying the season so far it's disappointing in the last game you know we dropped some points uh, it was going to happen. We're going to drop points from time to time, but it's, it makes it harder purely for the fact that, you know, Athletic imagery keep winning games. So now we're only one point ahead of them. Uh, so we've got to try and maintain a little bit of, bit of consistency. I mean, we were pretty consistent before that. Um, I'm going to make quite a few changes, though, in this match. Uh, I'm going to play a lot of players that are up for it. So we're going to bring in Isco, Ceballos with Crows. I think I'm going to leave the front three. I like playing Mariano. He's got the physicality factor about him. You know, he's an 85, 88 jump, 85 heading. That's what a center forward is. So, yeah, I'm going to play him. Son on the right, Hazard on the left. And then I think we'll leave it as Marcelo, Nacho, Sané. We'll start those two together. Or Gisela at the back with Navas in goal. Uh, yeah, pretty much trying to play as many up for it type players as possible. And we'll make a couple of changes here as well. We'll go very attacking on uh, the bench in case we do need a little bit extra firepower. But I think that probably is going to be enough. Uh, I do actually like playing long pass. I feel like when I play short pass, they don't make as much runs as possible. When you put it on long ball or long pass, more players will make the runs. So it's kind of the way I've been playing. And also all out defense with aggressive sort of work in tandem because more players will get back you need you need to be able to defend in pairs it's not the easiest thing to do uh, i think it's the responsiveness of switching players which is an issue in pairs 2019 really hope that 2020 has been fixed you know you know you can say what you want about fifa but when it comes to the switching of players and that ability fifa does it so well so you can defend better whereas on pairs there's almost like a little bit of a delay uh, and it's kind of annoying so, I don't know, maybe here we should contain them through the middle. Purely because they have everyone. Uh, or we could try and shepherd them out wide. Well, let's go middle. Let's try that out. And in vast instructions, I don't really like to do too many of them anymore. I just kind of just play my own style. Anyway, that's what we're going for. There's the lineup. There is Ibar playing a 4-4-2 with a diamond formation. Very much like the last game. And we're going to be playing on, yeah, that's fine. Superstar 11 minutes. Uh, we're playing with the same DT file as before. I liked it. There was some error. You know, I feel like on pairs, if you're going to play a lower team that's lying 18th, 17th, 16th, etc. in the league, they've got to make errors. You can't have the CPU playing every single pass 100%. Now, Real Madrid, yeah, they're going to be better at keeping the ball. They have better standard of players. Uh, so I thought the last DT file was nice to have that. We'll try it again today. We'll see how we get on. But anyway, let's dive into it. No more messing about. Real Madrid, Ayabar at the Bernabeu. So Real Madrid back at home looking to maintain that point lead they have over their rivals of Atletico Madrid. Ibar stand in the way. They're lying down though in about 18th place. It hasn't been a great season for them. But Real Madrid have got to get the three points. A couple of changes in the lineup. Let's see how they do. So Real Madrid get us underway on a fine afternoon. Hopefully a football to be played. Taking on a side that have struggled over the last couple of matches. As Sun picks it up. He's been playing quite well though. Today playing out on the right-hand side. Here is Marcelo. Ceballos getting a start. Towards uh, Oggiazola. So it's been pickpocketed there by 
Alvarez and now they've got a chance to possibly bring it forward here the away side and it's a long ball over the top Alvarez gets it down delivers in towards the back post and what a goal that is what a start that is by the away side Real Madrid had a similar start in the last game but this time they've been caught and Cardona gives them a fantastic dream start here look at that ball over the top and then he got his head up great ball on the back post and Marcelo's got beaten in the air so after just seven minutes we have the opening goal and that should uh, well, possibly open this up a little bit now Real Madrid they're, they're very rarely you feel keep a clean sheet often they can see goals from silly positions defensively though today no Varane will they miss him oh it looks like they possibly will here's Sané Andre Zola Isco too easy there got pickpocketed and the ball through the middle is a good one and suddenly there's a chance here to make it number two and try to dink it over Navas well played the keeper in the end well, Alvarez will float this one high ball is flicked on Real Madrid regain the ball and now they've got to try and break quickly Son looking for Audrey Zola gets often quite a bit doesn't he loves to come forward with the ball Son nice turn by him Ceballos with the outside of the boot towards Marcelo and he's got plenty of options in there one of them is at the back post flicked away Son manages to head it back to Audrey Zola nicely worked gets his head up looks to deliver near post and Mariano was not far away good hands by the keeper out quickly Real Madrid can't afford to do Dally with it well Eden Hazard stolen it and Mariano that must have been close let's have another look well, he's about two foot in the end wasn't he here is Sané still a lot of time though to be played Isco, Ogiozola, Sun, Ogiozola once more. This time he feeds it in to find Tony Crows. Well, Tony Crows is primarily going to stay back. That's not a good ball there at all. He may even start pushing forward a little bit more with the way things have gone. And now we got a chance here down the left hand side. Is he going to go in alone? He nearly did. And look at that for a save by Navas. This is top draw goalkeeping. Just phenomenal. The outstretched arm because he's ripped this one. It's a breathtaking stop. So 15 minutes to play till half time. Oh, the ball's flicked on. It's a bit of a miss, a bit of a mix up there. But now Eden Hazard has a chance to stretch the old legs. But well played there, Ibar getting back quickly. Cardona picks it up, feeds it out wide. Challenged by Marcelo. Luigi just on the sideline, screaming at his players, just trying to get them to sort things out here. Because they've had a hard time this first half. Nice turn by Sun, but well, he's managed to get away with that one. Maybe a little bit fortunate. Ball was played on Mariano with a strike. Hazard trying to close his man down. Hazard picks it up again, but it's a half strike in the end and a, a bit wasted. But better by Real Madrid. It was a great save by the goalie. Came back to Eden Hazard and, well, he's, he's in no shape to really hit that. Don't know why he attempted it. Long clearance forward. Been quite impressed by Ibar this first half. Sané, he's got to make a challenge. Well done. Does well. But the pass from him is a poor one. And suddenly they're on the back foot, Real Madrid. But Navas has pulled off a huge save in this match. Could play dividend later on, possibly. But now we've got players coming forward. Hazard. Hazard continues the run. No, oh, he's in the post. What an attempt. What an effort. Millimeters from making it one apiece. Suddenly the game has opened up through the middle but Nacho was there given away 
Sané's out of position. Real Madrid, they're playing very attacking now. They are literally going for it. They want to try and grab a goal here before the end of this half ends. Sun has got some space. Mariano. Hazard over towards the backside. Ceballos gets his head up, but it's far too close to the keeper. And it looks like that's going to be half time. There's a lot to do in the second half. Don't go anywhere. It is 1 0 to the away side. And Real Madrid have got to step it up. Well, Tony Crows is going to float this one in. He's looking for Sane, causing all the problems. Well, he managed to sort of flick it on. But just couldn't quite generate the power, and no one from Real Madrid managed to read it in the end. There he is again. Well played. Now Tony Crows. Is he going to manage to open up his body? Oh, it's a beauty! The captain with a ferocious strike. And Real Madrid are back level. And this is what he can do. He's been given a little bit more freedom this half to come forward, venture into new territory when you're sitting a little bit deeper. Picks this up. Great touch here away from the defender, rifles it in. So we have a game on our hands now. Real Madrid equalise. Just seven minutes into this second half. Question is, how will the uh, away side respond to that? And that's a good looking ball. Bit of a deflection there. And Sané will pick it up. He actually started that move, Sané, because he won the initial header. Keep mentioning how tall he is. He's a mountain of a man. A well played, son. And a lovely reverse ball. And he's got plenty of players in there. Andrea Zola, Tony Crows was one of them. Hazard gets up. But generating the power from that angle was difficult. Real Madrid are starting to feel the buzz. It's a bit of a mix up there. I won't get away with it. Biggers. Oh, good physical challenge, but he's lost out. Mariano, see Tony Crows now, oh it's a late one, dangerous from behind, could be the first booking of the game. And Tony Crows has stayed down though, Felix is telling him that we may have to whip in a stretcher here, so unfortunately the goal scorer is not going to be able to take this. I mean he got the ball, but he went through the captain to get it. Well Eden Hazard has decided that this could be very much his range. Let's see what he can do. The deflection, though, just did enough to redirect it into the keeper's arms. But this is not a game that Real Madrid can afford to drop points. They need a goal. And they need it as quick as possible. Oh, that was a chance. Oh, he and Hazard! Hazard stolen it! And there it is! An error at the back! has gifted Eden Hazard his first goal, Real Madrid second and the second half now has been turned around by the league leaders well they had a chance here, Felix lays it on it was Ceballos and then right there look, both players mixing up between them and there was no question that Hazard was going to nestle that into the bottom corner well a totally different first half to the second and Real Madrid will try and just keep this momentum going. Cardona, great touch by him to keep it on. Up against Marcelo here. Ball is delivered in. Oh, that's brilliant. What about that for an equaliser by Leon? Phenomenal goal. Straight from kickoff. Marcelo can't believe it. How on earth they've pulled this out? First of all, this is a brilliant touch. Keeps it on, gets it out of his feet. Marcelo's trying to hold him up, but the run and finish is just beautiful. So what a what a half we have now. 2-2. Two, two. Goals keep on coming. The chances keep on coming. Tony Kroos. Mariano. That's another late one. The referee's going to play the advantage. Andrea Zola. Back to Mariano, oh he scored! This is absolutely unbelievable! Another five-goal thriller here at the Bernabeu and Mariano 
with his first goal, but this is a fantastic strike. He couldn't have got it much closer to the bottom corner. Risco had no chance. The referee actually played a fantastic advantage set up here by Odriozola. And look at this, bang. Almost like the goalie was, was not expecting it. As he strikes this so cleanly. You can see the technique was immaculate. There was a little bit of a bobble and it sort of swerves in. Well, Real Madrid, two changes. Vallejo on and Junior comes on for Sun. We've got about four minutes left. You just try and keep it in the corner. Well, maybe not, because Felix couldn't do so. Pedro Leon had the equalising goal, but didn't last too long, did it? Fantastic strike by Mariano. Has given Real Madrid the 3-2 cushion. Marcelo, great ball up the line. Finding Junior. He's just possibly going to try and hold this in the corner. Nice little back flick there as well. Marcelo. Zabayos. Looking to lay it off towards Tony Cruz. Oh, he's hit the post. What a fantastic goal that would have been. When he doesn't often miss hit a pass or a strike. And he certainly didn't there. Look at the technique. We won't see another look at it for whatever reason. We have got one final chance. Maybe they can grab another one. There's Mariano getting up. But Rizgo jumping on the ball. The referee has a look at the watch. What an entertaining second half we've had here at the Bernabeu. There's the full-time whistle. Mariano will be the saviour with a fantastic strike as Real Madrid win by three goals to two. Well, we had some cracking goals in that one. There it is, 10 attempts to four. 59 to 41 percent possession out of the match mariano again up there with hazard and crows well that was a pretty entertaining game wasn't it and uh, atletico madrid won as well so we're lucky that we did leganes drew getafe drew uh, real sociedad winning their match uh, sevilla won one nil wesca drew barcelona won one nil real batiste won one nil but valencia losing by three goals to nil so we remain a point clear very very tight at the top it's almost nerve-wracking because i know every match i've got to perform i've got to win with Atletico Madrid playing the way they are barcelona still third valencia now a little bit further behind and a bit of a gap between ibar and uh, huesca now four points so there's a look at the month it wasn't too bad we didn't lose a game it was four wins one draw sun had four goals crows with two mariano with two um, yeah, Felix playing pretty well as well. There's a look at how we've been playing. Certainly more possession, short pass, all out defense, conservative. I mean, I actually had to switch things up there. You guys probably noticed I was playing with a different camera angle at the beginning. I tried to play something different. Let me just go through these real quick. Uh, nothing too important there. And uh, okay. But yeah, I tried to actually play with a different camera angle a little bit lower i can't i can't do it i just can't play like that that's why i started off so bad i had to just go back to the one i've been using and if you change the range um that's when it's a little bit more angle you just any any time you try and pass the ball or change player it goes to the wrong player because you're, you're not really playing at the right settings and that's why i can't play it as simple as that anyway tony crows has sustained an injury so that's not great He'll be back very, very shortly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end it there because we've got a lot of things to do, a lot of things to discuss. Uh, what have we got here? A couple of players they said that we could look at. Let's have a look. Uh, Insigne being one of them. Obviously, Paul Scholes is ridiculous. That's not going to happen. It's not even the real Scholes. Uh, Guero, Marco Royce. I mean, Insigne would be a bad player, but do we really need another winger? Probably not at this point. And there's a look at some defenders we could maybe get. Nah, probably won't get them either. But uh, let's have a look quickly at how long Crows. Just a week. Okay, not too long. I think injuries is something they could work on too for 2020. Pez 2020, you know, a little bit longer. Most injuries I have are four days, five days, or a week. There's nothing really any longer than that. So you don't really have to worry about injuries happening. I would like to see that be more prevalent, I think. Uh, in the next iteration anyway i hope you guys did enjoy it some more goals for you that's the way it goes one match is one nil the next match is three two it's great it really is but until next time 
Take care.